So in this lesson, we're going to be covering the setup of your blog. So you'll see I've got a preview right here that has um, a bunch of different blog posts. And so I'm going to show you how I set that up. Now, one thing to note is if you're just starting out with your site and you don't have any blog posts, there's no information to populate. So um, let me go over to blog first. And you'll see that I've um, entered these different blog posts. Um, I'm using my blog personally um, for my bucket list. So when I find a place I want to go and do research, I create a blog post on it. And so this is the information. Let's go back to design. Let's click on blog. So these are the posts that are going to populate into here as I'm setting it up. So um, if you don't have any blog posts, it might be good to go in and create a couple blog posts just so you can see the look and feel as you set up these settings. So let's click customize. Okay, so we've got the header and footer all set up. So basically what I'm doing here is I've added a hero image. So this is the hero right here. And we've done this uh, just about in every lesson. So I'll show you the basics of it, but uh, you should be a pro on, on doing heroes now. So if you wanted to add a hero, add section, hero. Open up the hero. We've got the text. So let me click on text. Uh, I've got on eight. Let's make it 10 just so it's uniform with everything else. And then you'll see that I'm using an H1 and then paragraph centered. So to do that, I would type in bucket list blog or whatever the name of your blog is. And then I would go to format heading, heading one. And then I would go to format alignment center. And then for our research on places we want to go, I would just type that in. And then just to make sure it's formatted correctly, I would go to formats, blocks, paragraph, and then to center it alignment center. Okay. So now the text is all set up. What I want to do is I want to set this background. So these are the block settings and I haven't done anything. I'm not using a call to action or typography, background, desktop layout. I haven't changed anything here. So I'm going to go back, um, but I want to change the section settings for the background. So let's click on background. I set it to image and I uploaded this image, which is 2880 by 1200. I left these the default, so center, the background image is that transparent color over this. Um, if I didn't want transparent and I just wanted it regular, it would look like this. Now you notice when it goes to transparent, it goes to the default colors. Um, but once you add any type of transparency, so once you add that color, then it changes it to white. Um, I want it a little bit more, I want the opacity a little bit uh, less on this. So let's go here be a little bit darker just so you can read that a little bit better. Okay, that's good. And then for the desktop layout, I left the defaults. And for the mobile layout, I left the defaults and I'm not using a time reveal. So let's click save. Okay, let's go back. So now our hero section is set up. Now we're going to go and set up how, what we want our blog page to look like. So. In a future lesson, we're going to actually set up the blog posts, what those look like, but this is just the overall blog page, the navigation, what it looks like. So let's click on blog listings. Okay. So under blog listings, the first thing that we're choosing is the layout style. So you'll see on mine that I'm using a two column grid. So if I change this, I could go to a list, which looks like this. I could change it. I already showed you two column, three column grid, which looks like this. I could do media on left, which looks like that media on right. So you can, you can play around with the look and feel for me. The two column grid is what I like the most. Then I can show videos. Uh, in this case, I haven't uploaded videos on these blog posts, so I'm not going to do that. I could show the date. So if the date is important to you, you could do that. For me, the date is not important because this is the research on places I want to go. Uh, so I'm not showing the date. I am showing the tags. The tags allow uh, me to organize my blog posts based on the category. So this is the country of Curacao that I was researching. Um, so you can see that I'm showing the tags and then show content. If I check that, then it would start to populate, but uh, I don't want the content there. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then the video player color. If I was using video, I could choose that. Um, truncate at, if I'm showing the content, I could truncate it at like a hundred, um, and it would, it would cut it off, um, after a hundred characters. 
Um, for the language read more, it says continue reading. Because I'm not showing content, this doesn't show up. Um, read more text color. And then how many listings per page? So I've got it at 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then it's got pagination down here to go to the next uh, page of, of blog posts. So the pagination appearance, I just left it at the defaults. So let's go down. You'll see that the defaults are like this light gray to the blue. So if I wanted to change that, pagination default color, let's say I wanted to go with more of a red. And then for the selected color, I wanted to use blue. So it's selected there. And then for the disabled color, I wanted to use, let's say, a gray. So that means that uh, you can't go to the left. So that way you can set up your pagination appearance uh, however you want it. And then the sidebar. So let me scroll up. Here's our sidebar. So it says bucket list menu, all destinations. What is our bucket list blog um, and a search bar. And so you're going to see that I can show the sidebar on desktop or I could uncheck it and it's gone from the desktop. Um, I do want it D desktop sidebar on right. So if I unchecked it, now it's on the left, but I do want it on the right. And then show sidebar on mobile, checked. Mobile sidebar on bottom, check. Now one thing to notice is if I click on this computer down here, I can look at all the different versions. So desktop to tablet height, vertical, uh, horizontal, vertical, mobile. So if I click on mobile, you'll see that I still have the hero here. And then as I scroll down, you're going to see that I've got the sidebar at the bottom. Now what if I change this um, show mobile sidebar on bottom? Now it puts the sidebar at the very top and then it goes into the blog posts. So for mobile, it kind of explains what this is all about. Um, but in my case, I like it to be at the bottom. I want people to be able to get into the content right away. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. Okay, let's go back to desktop view. Okay, next we've got our categories. So let's click on categories. Um, for mine, I put for the heading bucket list menu. So you're going to see right here, bucket list menu. And then all categories language says all destinations. And I've chose the drop down right here where I could do a list, but I prefer to do the drop down. And then I've got the categories heading color and the categories link color. Um, the alignment I've got to left, but I could change it to middle. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the left. Okay, so we've got our category set up. Next, we've got a custom block. So uh, you can go to add content, and then you can add a custom block. That's what I did. So with my custom block, let me click on it. The heading says, what is our bucket list blog? So this right here. Then the heading color is the red for my logo. If I wanted an image, I could put in an image. In my case, I don't want an image there, so I'm just leaving unchecked. This is where you would upload it. And then I added in my content right here, and I added a link to the destinations page, and I'm not showing a call to action. But if I wanted a call to action, I would just uh, check that, and then I could do my call to action. And you would put in all the information right here for the call to action, and then the text alignment, you can do left or center. I'm going to keep it left so everything's uniform. So we're done with that. And then lastly, I added this sidebar search. And it just says search right here. And I've got the icon colors. Um, so let's say I wanted the icon to search to be red for my logo. It would just change it like that. Okay. So let's save our settings. Let's go back. All right, the last thing that we have are section settings. So our background, you'll notice, is a white. So I didn't change um, anything. I don't have a background media type. Um, it's centered, and I left it um, with the default setting. But let's say I wanted just to make sure that if the default settings ever changed, that it would stay white. I could click white, and now it's going to stay white for the background. Okay, for the desktop layout for the section, um, these are the defaults, 40, 40, 40, 40, and on the mobile layout, uh, 40, 10, 40, 10. So that's, uh, that's what we've got for our section settings. Again, check that. And that's it for setting up your blog. So really you can get uh, as creative as you want for this uh, blog page, 
And um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to actually set up your blog post uh, settings. So when they click on this, um, it'll be formatted just the way that you like it. So let's click back. Let's, let's save this just to make sure. Okay, let's click sites. Let's click design. And then when you click on blog, it's going to give you a preview of the blog that you set up. And that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next.